Oh. Alright fellas, welcome back. I'm going to recharge my glass because it's quite warm this evening. And I've already been drinking this heffy quite a bit. Doesn't that just look refreshing? That looks so refreshing. Oh friggin' me right. <laughs> the heffy ladies and gentlemen. The heffy. So this is to conclude the playlist for the white elephant heffy. Final thoughts, final tasting. Now as you can see, it pours. Beautiful. It's got a nice bit of a haze to her. It is a little bit too cold actually. That fridge is just a tad too cold, but um, it's clear, but there's a lovely haze to it. The carbonation, bang on, thank God. Got it bang on. Um, forms a nice white fluffy head, but um, it just looks refreshing on a warm day. You know, it's it's really inviting. So let's get a aroma on her, and uh, and we'll see what she's like. The aroma is pretty much the same as what it was straight out the fermenter. It's sort of popping a little bit more though. The the banana seems to sort of come out just a touch more. <laughs> But it's a lovely, sweet, candied banana sort of aroma that's coming off of it. And, and that's about it, apart from a touch of the malts. But the malts are very, very light, almost lager type malts coming off of it. And of course, you can get some of the wheat. But let's dive in for a taste and uh, see what we've got. Cheers to you all and to your good health. The thing that hits me every time when I drink this, or the thing that comes to mind every time when I when I drink this, is that although it is an unintrusive, um, basic, heffy, it's something that every time I drink it I'm thinking, yes, this is a good, solid base to be able to add to, and really the sky's the limit to what you want to do with it. I think it would take most things in its stride. It's a really good starting place to adapt the recipe. But having said that, just keeping it like this is really, really nice. You really appreciate it when it's warm. Um, the midst of summer when it's red hot. I mean, the weather took a dive and it's picked back up again. Been like 23, 24 degrees, red hot at work come back home pop one of these out into a glass and you're just like oh god it just screams refreshment at you and a lot of it is coming from the malts the fact that they're light refreshing and crisp like a lager but you've also got this hint of sweet banana esters that's running through it that the yeast has kicked off which really go together well the, um, the refreshing malts and this banana it really really works works well and of course it's so light it's so light and yet the wheat is giving it a decent mouthfeel tetanang that we added a bittering is it's a nice bittering it's um, it's just a tiny bit, almost almost getting lost in the carbonation. Um, it just creeps in at the end, but it's hardly sort of noticeable. Um, it's all about the yeast esters and all about the crisp malts in this one. And I have to say, quite enjoying it. Quite enjoying it. In fact, I don't think it'll be long before it's kicked. But, um, but there you go, fellas just looks so light so refreshing so sort of delicate but it's it's packing a, a big flavor punch anyway guys that is the uh, follow-up final thoughts final tastings of the white elephant heffy and that is it fellas that is it I can't put it down but I've got another video to shoot for this bad boy 
Oh yeah, the Norseman. Anyway guys, that's it. So uh, as always, don't forget to thumb up the video because you don't want to know. Don't forget to subscribe to the red button Danny that says subscribe. Click it you want to subscribe. Come on next, share the video with it. for all to see. Until next time, I'm out of here.